hey what's up everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video i'm going to be showing you the full guide on how to get payment apps working on custom roms whether you may be using majisk or if your rom came bundled with kernel su or ksu for short so let's get this video started so guys this is completely your own risk i am not responsible if you lose any money so yeah first up what we need to do is we need to make sure our phone is rooted my phone is not yet rooted so i'm gonna root it now if your phone is already rooted you can skip this part okay so i'm gonna quickly go over on what we're gonna be needing so the first one is majisk apk head over to the links in the description down below and you will come to this page next click on the releases page over here and then scroll down and then download the latest build which is available you know to click on this text over here and the download is going to start next up is the play integrity fix majisk module so again same thing head over to the releases page and then download the latest version just click on it and the download will start next up is zygisk next again same thing head over to the releases page and then download the latest version which is available i haven't downloaded it yet so i'm gonna do it now and the last thing you're going to be needing is your custom rom zip file or at least the boot image which is inside it so if you are running lineage os which is officially distributed by the lineage os page you can head over to the lineage os website and choose your device in the list and here you can see all the separate files which are in the zip file so what we need is we need to download the boot image right so we can just hit the download button next to the boot image text and it will only download the boot image but if you're running any other custom rom don't worry you can easily get the boot image all you have to do is open your custom roms zip file and here inside you will find the boot image you can just drag and drop it out of the zip file and then we can copy it to our phone and then continue okay next what you need to do is you need to copy the majisk apk play integrity fix dot zip zygisk next dot zip and the boot image of your custom rom to your phone's internal storage so let me do that real quick all right i have connected my phone so i'm just gonna put everything in the uh, phone's internal storage download folder so i'm gonna copy all that and once that is done we can head over to the phone Okay, so once you have copied all the files over to your phone, first we need to create a Majisk patched boot image. So for that, first install the Majisk APK which we copied over to our phone earlier. So here it is. And I'll have the permission. Install. Done. Okay, now you need to go ahead and open the Majisk app. And then select the install button next to Majisk. Choose select and patch a file. And now we need to browse to where you have stored the boot image of your ROM. So mine is in the internal storage download folder. And here is my boot image. So I'm going to choose that. Select the let's go button and let it do its thing. Okay, so once that is done, it will create a new image where it will patch the boot image so that we will have root capabilities so as you can see majisk patched boot image so now you need to flash it in the twrp recovery you need to flash it to the boot partition and i cannot do that why because there is a bug in my phone which makes the touch screen not work in twrp recovery mode after installing lineage os so i have to resort to other methods to get the boot image transferred over to my phone now because my phone is a Samsung phone, I can use Odin to flash the boot image. I'm gonna do just that. Okay, so first I need to boot my phone into the download mode. So let me just do that. And guys, if, uh, if you are uh, following the same method, the Odin method, you need to flash the Majisk patched boot image in the AP partition of uh, the phone. So in Odin you need to choose AP and then browse to where you have stored the Majisk patched boot image and then select on that. Why oh, is the screen brightness so low? Okay so I'm just gonna flash it real quick. And again if you have TWRP working just fine you can just go there and install the boot image and you can get root. But I can't so I'm going to do this method. Okay I'm gonna send over the boot image. Hit start. 
and that is it my phone should be rooted now Okay, my phone is turned on. Let me disconnect the USB cable. Okay, now let's check if root is installed or not. So I'm gonna go root checker, verify root. And as you can see, we are getting the super user request prompt. So that means our phone is rooted. As you can see, why is this not going? Yeah, as you can see, congratulations. Root access is properly installed on this device. So now we have root. So now we can fix the payment issues. So let me first show you by going to the play store and show you the uh, device certification. So as you can see my play store is up to date, Google play services is up to date. And if I select on the fixed device issue over here, as you can see, it's not going to pass the certification check, no matter how many times you run it. That's because we are running a custom ROM and the device won't certify. And even if I go to the Google Pay app over here, choose my country, enter my phone number. And as you can see, as soon as I enter my phone number, I am greeted with this page. Google Pay can't be used on this device. Your device does not pass Google Pay security checks. This may be because your device is rooted or running an uncertified or custom OS build. So yeah, we're gonna be bypassing that. First up, what you need to do is you need to go to the Magis app. Go to settings. Enable Zygisk. And also enable Enforce Deny List. And when you go to enable Zygisk, it's going to say reboot to apply changes. So let's restart the phone real quick. Alright, our phone is booted up. Alright, now go to Magisk again. Go to the settings page, scroll down, come to configure deny list. And here you need to choose, uh, just hit the three dots on the top over here and then check the box which says show system apps, choose that. And now we need to tick the boxes for some apps. And this one is new I think Android system key verifier and Android system safety core. So I'm just gonna uh, select those as well just to you know avoid any problems with bypassing the device checks. And next what you need to add is play services. And if you have the Google app, do add that as well. And Google Play Services. And the Play Store. And the uh, your payment app. So mine is Google Pay, so I'm gonna add that. So add these apps, let me show you again. I'm gonna go back and come. So yeah, you need to add these apps. Oh wait, hold on a second. Make sure there is a tick mark in all the boxes. So yeah, Android system key verifier, Android system safety core. I don't think you need to tick these two, but uh, just for safety, I'll keep it. And the Google app, Google Play services, Google Play store, and your payment app. So once you have done that, you need to go back. Go back again, head over to the modules page, select install from storage. And now here you need to browse to where you have stored the play integrity fix .zip. So mine is in the downloads folder. I'm gonna select that. Select OK. Give it a second. As you can see it's done. So now we need to reboot the phone. So I'm gonna select reboot. And again we wait for the phone to restart. Alright our phone has booted up. Now go to the images cap again give it a second for the app to load head over to the modules page and here you will see a little action button over here with the play symbol next to it you need to select that let it do its thing all 
all right once that is done you can select close over here go back and now let's check if our device will certify without any issues go to the about fixed device issue and it's okay if it fails keep doing it keep uh, you know uh, choosing the fixed device issue button and if you're still getting this problem you need to go to the settings app and then clear the data of google play services google play store google app if you have it installed and your payment app so let's go to the apps page see all apps google play services storage clear storage clear all data go back google play store storage clear storage clear all the data go back again select your payment app storage clear data all right once that is done you can come back open play store again and head over to the settings let me just turn off the updates real quick it's gonna just keep updating and as you can see we don't even need to press the fixed device issue button it says device is certified <laughs> Play Store is up to date. So yeah, as you can see, it says device is certified and now the payment app should work. Okay, I'm going to open my payment app, choose my country, continue. I'm going to enter my phone number. And as you can see, it is allowing me to type the OTP. Last time it didn't even let me come to this page. As soon as it came to this page, it immediately uh, threw the warning that my device is rooted or running a custom OS. But now there's no problem. I can enter the OTP and then use my payment apps without any issue. Okay, so for devices running kernel SU or KSU for short, once you install the kernel SU manager app, it should automatically hide the root. But if you are still not able to successfully log in into your payment app, only then you should install the uh, magis modules so if your payment app is still not working after you install the kernel SEO manager follow these steps head over to the modules page select install and then browse to where you have stored the play integrity fix and the zygis next magis module so first up you need to select zygis next install that select ok all right once it is done it's going to ask you to reboot so let's reboot the phone Wait for the phone to boot up. Alright, once the phone has booted up, open the kernel SU manager app again. Go to modules and this time you need to flash the play integrity fix module. So select that and then select OK. Alright, once that is done, again it's going to ask you to reboot your phone and let's hit reboot. So yeah, after you do all this, your payment apps will work. Let the phone boot up. Alright, the phone is booted up. Let's head over to the payment app. And as you can see it's allowing me to type the OTP so yeah before this it was not even going to let you come to this page where you type the OTP so yeah the payment apps is working so yeah guys I guess that's it so yeah guys that's it for the video thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video